And here comes Chris Bubich. He has pitched very well in his last two appearances, and he pitched very well in his one appearance against the White Sox this year. And there it is, and it's hooked to the left side. Dozier bare hands, throws in time. Oh, man, that's nice. That's how you pick up your pitcher right there. Already, man, he came hard after that, barehanded it. Threw off his right leg, perfect throw, got him. Lucas Giolito on for his 21st start. ERA of three and three quarters, a lot of strikeouts. 136 of them, just 38 walks. Control's been really good. Left-handers, because of that changeup, hasn't done much with them. 0 oh, 2 from Lucas is a good, sharp fastball and one gone. When Lucas has that fastball right around 95, there's a little extra life to it. And he gets it by Merrifield. 3 and 2. Swing and a miss. All oh, that dazzling changeup. He got the local and two down. If he's getting the high changeup, he's got the low changeup. Andrew Vaughn against left handers. He is slugging 6 10. 1 and 2. Curveball, chopper again, past Bubich. Dozier has no play, and that is the first base runner of the ball game for the Sox. Danny Mendick. And now breaking ball was deflected by Bubich to Witt, and in time, 1 4 3. Here's Sebi Zavala. Zavala is down on three pitches, and that's Bubich's first strikeout tonight. And really only one hard hit ball. And that was off the bat of Anderson, who lined to short, and now he loops one to short. Nicky Lopez goes out to make the play. And down go the White Sox in order in the third. Hunter Dozier batting for the first time. Set up right in the middle of the plate. And there is a third slider for strike three. 0-2 for Taylor. Geo hunting his fourth strikeout. And there it is. Another slider diving away. And two down. Scoreless tie. Adam 0 for 1. Adam shears this ball down the right field line toward the corner it goes. And Solaire picks it out of the corner. Adam into second with a leadoff double. The always dangerous Aloy Jimenez. The bottom line is just executing pitches. You go out to ooh like that right there. Man, that's exactly what you like to see. Bubich needs to get Mankata. Bubich gets him with a changeup and works around a runner at third with one out. Oh man, that is excellent. One two change up and strikeout number five for Lucas Giolito. The Royals are hitless through four ladies and gentlemen. Andrew Vaughn first in the fifth then Garcia and Mendick. That is smoke to center field another hard shot from Andrew Vaughn. Right handed Leori kind of all arms and legs the pitch lined into center over a leaping Merrifield for a base hit. Vaughn stops at second and they've got something cooking here in the fifth. So here's Danny Mendick. Danny up the middle into center field. Andrew Vaughn to third. He is on his way home. Throw is offline. Toss down to second base. And they have Mendick caught in a rundown. Behind the play, here comes run number two. And Garcia scores. It's 2 nothing Sox. Nice base running play by Garcia. Yes, you give up the out, but the Sox get two runs. Kind of surprising on Whit Merrifield. He forgot about the most important thing, and that is not Danny Mendick. Mendick drives home one, but Merrifield's a pretty smart player. So there's a one run scores, and now Mendick gets trapped. Merrifield doesn't look at all at Leury, and when Leury sees that he didn't pay attention to him, he scores. Jorge Soler leads off the bottom of the fifth for Kansas City was terrifying. There's strike three. Nice fastball. Lucas strikes out Soler. Lucas Giolito turns, kicks, and throws. And a drive the other way. Deep left. Vaughn at the fence. He's got it! Up against the chain link fence in front of the bullpen. He banged into that barrier. And he just dropped Ben Benintendi. What a play. Two out and Ryan O'Hearn the batter. Now we'll see what kind of a fielder he is. He stumbled and with that short arm delivery throws late. Well, he, he had a hard time getting off the mound. I don't know if he slipped or if he was just shocked that the ball was cued like that. But if Brian O'Hearn, he will take it. And so will the Royals. Here's an 0-1. 
There's a line drive to left. Vaughn dives, makes a catch. She's done it again. Why not? Had to come in on that ball. It was dipping and diving. Left his feet, made the catch. One down for Nikki Lopez. A one-two. This time he got him. Hit the mitt right on the outside corner. Gino Alito's next offering is swung on by Witt. Driving Vaughn back to the wall. He reaches up and can't make the play. The ball bangs away. Merrifield will hold at second base with a likely double. Vaughn, good route, perfect line, right to it, and just couldn't get to it. Let's see on this shot here. Yeah, he missed it. One and one on Salvi. Salvi hits it deep to right field. Garcia goes into the corner, and it's off of his glove. So another break defensively. The Royals got one last inning and weren't able to cash it in. And we'll see what they do with Salvi's leadoff double. Now Solaire. Him. And that's going to get through Zavala and get Salvi to third. And he will do that. Deep to left and oh. off the top of the fence. And now he better hurry to get to second. He'll be in there as the throw comes in wild. And Soler will go to third. Hey now, Salvi loves that fastball. We know. Go ahead. Put a home run in that category. Oh. There it is. Oh my. How far? That was almost too far to be a Salvi splash. <laughs> hey, thank you, fan, for getting Salvi pumped up with that sign you made. But I'll tell you what. Man. Was powerful. That was high and far, and you want to call that a majestic homer? That's exactly what that was. Clutch homer. We just showed you the clutch numbers after the seventh inning. This added a seventh homer to that category. Take a look at this swing on the replay. That's a fastball, grew belt high, and he did not disappoint. He brought all the fans here at Coffin Stadium to their feet in one swing. And a big roar. That was really high and far. Alberto is the hitter. Run is down, and Moncada double clutches. Garcia covers, so 5-4, and the winning run is at third with one out. Dozier hits it on the ground, contact play, and now a rundown, and now Benintendi will stay in as long as he can to get Dozier into scoring position. No tag! The game is over! Mm. The White Sox have a stunned look, and Tony La Russa doesn't need to ask his replay guy. And he is going to be out. Taylor is 0 for 3 tonight, but he lined out in the sixth inning against Giolito to left. Taylor grounds it up the middle. Base hit. Here's Dozier. And the Royals win it in the bottom of the tenth. Michael A. Taylor, what a clutch hit that was. Stayed right with it, up the shot it right back at the biggest hole in the diamond there. Royals won it two different times in the bottom of the 10th inning That's tonight. Right. <laughs> they were all over it. Salvador Perez's home run was outstanding. It was a beautiful thing, and let's not forget about Bubich. So down, but not out. Michael A. Taylor puts the ball in play. The Royals win it 3-2.